Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about some altcoin cryptos that are looking like they're getting ready to break out. Up first we have Oasis Network, the sticker symbol Rose. It's the 97th largest coin and it's got a market cap of about $350 million. What we're looking at here is a drop of VWAP from the ICO price. And then we just start are kind of looking and following this base. So we have a a series of lower highs here. And we're watching RSI. You know, it's it's kind of making a double bottom. Price is making a, a lower low. RSI is making a an equal low. You know, it's a little bit of a momentum indicator that lets you know that, you know, maybe this move down is is done and, and we're looking to move a bit higher. Some things that are important to look at in the base is volume. So we have had two volume spikes that are pretty relevant within this this right side of the base. Uh, this last week with a 24% move on the weekly candles is big time. And what we're seeing now is, you know, prices, it's only Monday, but price is sitting just below this breakout level. And the breakout level is going to be this downtrend line. What you really want to see is price thrusting hard through this breakout line and you want to see volume you know that that matches um, a breakout in volume should accompany a breakout in price if we are going to see our breakout you know there's a, a pretty good chunk of room up here till this ICO VWAP and, and that's about a 67% move uh, excuse me 47% move which is a pretty substantial move in a couple weeks so this is one I'm watching closely, and, and there's a good chance we get another base that forms underneath this previous high view app, the ICO view app. That's really where the big money is going to be made. If, if we can get to a point where a majority of the holders are in the money, there's going to be no overhead supply left, and, and that's when things really start flying. Next two up, we have Cartesi. Uh, this is the 195th largest coin, so it's it's pretty small in market cap at only $114 million. On this one, we're seeing you know similar things. This time, I I, I put the previous high view up up here from the April high. That's when we got this huge thrust. This was a 70% move in one week, which is pretty ridiculous. And here we have a series of higher lows forming here. What I want to see is a higher high be made, and that's that's what we're looking at here. If, if price can get over this 16 cent level, that's going to be a higher high. And if we can get over that higher high, I'd make the bet that we're going to come up and test this previous high view up. Uh, what, what we're seeing here is also an increase in the RSI. So we can draw, you know, an uptrend line here off these two points. And then we take a look to see how that looks in the base. So over here we made a, a similar level. These were both the same, the same low being made, but RSI was already diverging higher, which is a bullish indicator. So like I said, if we can get through 16, which is just uh, you know this 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 level right here. After we had this last dump, if we can get above that high and make it up to our previous high VWAP, that's a 63% move, and that's another another good way to make some money. Next up, we have Aptos. Uh, this is the 33rd largest coin with a market cap of we'll call it 1.6 billion, um, about 10 times the size of the last coin we just looked at. This one's already broken out. You know we have these two volume bars here, which is what we're really looking for. You want to see these volume thrust through your breakout levels. So if we're looking at this one, you know, if you bought right now, there's about a 57% upside, you know, to your next substantial resistance zone. And RSI really didn't give us a lot of hints here. You know, we, we got this quick thrust and, and you really just want to follow these volume bars. If if you're seeing a huge expansion in volume accompanied on a breakout, you just have to participate. Um, you know, this is a a very recent ICO. This thing went public on the Coinbase exchange about a year ago. So there really aren't a, a ton of trap buyers from the previous bear market. Um, you know, it did have a pretty substantial downtrend here, but it did have this huge pump to begin with. So like I said, if we can get up to this 1156 level, that's probably going to be where our next resistance is at, and that's where we're going to look for a second base to form. Next up, we have Optimism, 41st, 41st largest coin with a $1.2 billion market cap. This one 
kind of looks a, a lot different than our other ones. We didn't get that huge breakdown that we've seen, and, and we still have this series of higher lows here if you kind of just, you know, draw that with your cursor. Next thing we want to see is a, a breakout here on this downtrend line. Thankfully, volume has been subsiding through the base. What you really want to see is volume go quiet. It lets you know that buyers and sellers, well, sellers specifically, but buyers and sellers are dormant, and there's been an equilibrium reach in this market. Volume is the exchange of shares or, or coins, in this case, per participant. So if there's nothing changing hands, that means that nobody is interested in, in you know, really selling this coin anymore. There's not a lot of supply being brought to the market. So now what we want to see is we want to see a lot of demand coming through the market. And what we what we look for when we get that demand is you'll watch these volume bars. If volume can do a substantial spike higher, say we did like this green bar here and we did 34.4 million uh, coins in volume through this breakout, that would let you know that there's a large demand for Optimism OP. And that's what we're going to be looking for. You want to look for a breakout through this level on high volume. And if we get that, there's a very good chance we can run, you know, probably to here or so, maybe to the 270 level. And that's a 90, 85%, you know, move higher, which is uh, another great return on your money. And then finally, we have everyone's favorite altcoin. This is the Doge, uh, $9.8 billion market cap. So it's huge compared to some of the other ones we've looked at. This one gets interesting because you almost had this breakout on this huge volume spike, but its price stayed just below this downtrend line. Um, you know, these are kind of arbitrarily drawn. I, I just look at the highs and see what looks important to me. And in this case, this line held. That's why it's important to wait for these closes. Um, you know, if price, if price really gets moving and, and Dogecoin can do that, you know, it could hit this, this previous high view app of, it's only 33% higher, but it could hit that this week if it really wanted to. So if you're if you're nervous about the close being too high, you could always set your your buy stop around this you know 70 78 level 70 79 if you want to round up, and then I'll get that'll get you involved. Um, but this is another good example of what I was saying about how it went dormant, and then we see this big volume spike. If we can continue to see volume follow through with price, then that's going to let you know that this market has legs. So that's a just a brief introduction on you know some altcoins that are setting up. Um, there's some other ones that I've already bought in the last few weeks, but they're they're past their buy point, so I'll just I'll just wait for those to set up again before I start making any moves. And and once I start seeing that things are setting up, I'll make sure to post a video on that. So if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the chat. Thanks for watching.